what's up guys uh, I'm back with another video and uh, well today uh, I'll be going over my stats and um, stuff like that of what I've been doing with this game since I almost nearly maxed everything out um, but this video will be about potions and fishing because a lot of people doesn't exactly get it on how fast I actually level up because I did potion and fishing in two days. I'm not even kidding with you. You can ask all my guild mates if you wanted to. But, um, yeah, for this video, I'm just going over my stats and the loot that I have and, uh, and fishing and potion as well. But I'll cut to that part whenever I get down with the um, stats and the loot and everything like that. But, uh, as you can see, I'm almost max. I just got cannon left. I did reach level 50. Um, it was about two days ago, I believe, when I hit level 50. So pretty hype about that. Um, yeah, I got this new outfit going on. I like it. It's pretty fresh. But yeah, I like. Yes, I do like to keep myself organized. Here's all my holiday stuff right here, but I'll go over it. Um, so here we go. Crackabane Sword. This is all right. I just like. I just like it because I go to Torment a lot. And uh, if I don't get a, usually tormented to Onyx Curse, uh, if you haven't seen that video where I got Onyx Curse from uh, Crash, please go check it out. Um, I'll put it at the end of this video, and uh, so you can go check it out and um, watch that uh, amazing curse drop but, um, with my buddy Roger at the time. But yeah, man, it was awesome to get a curse from a specific uh, boss. It was an honor to have this blade, but... Uh, like I said in the video, the curse, Onyx Curse, I wasn't intention on going for this, but it, it dropped. It dropped, so I just picked it up. I was like, cool, I got another curse. Um, feel great about myself about getting this because a lot of people are, are trying to get this. Like, I mean, a lot of people, because when I was there, there was a lot of people that were actually trying to get it. And it was difficult for them, but... Um, I told him if there was trading in this game, I'll definitely give it to him because I'm not a Saber fan. But um, but they're not going to bring Saber into this game. It's just not going to happen. It'll ruin the game. It, it'll just mess up the game in a discussion, <laughs> really. But uh, Master Crafted Pistol, I already showed you guys this one. Uh, green Order of Grenades, just to uh, use it for the lulls and Gold Room or something like that. Uh, sailing. I use mostly this and uh, or this one. I don't have the Fane one yet, but hopefully I get it soon. And this one. But here we go. Whole Ripper. Uh, Endless Knight. Ripsaw Blade. Nightbringer Sword. Uh, Divine Repeater. Divine Pistol. Ripsaw Tooth. Spine Crest. Silver Striker. This is actually a pretty good drop too. From the twins they were lucky enough to give it to me before uh when the event ended so thank you very much uh dread spike war scatter gun uh just a random throwing knives because i mean i don't have much of throwing knives yet tyrant blade this is the only blade i have for this look of it i know i'm missing dutchman's pistolets and archers in but i'll get it eventually um as soon as I get my cannon to level 30, I'll definitely be looting more. But, uh, puff, puffer Blade, um, Cut Blade, Bitter End, Grand Blunder. I've gotten this about six times. A lot of people are struggling to get this thing, but oh my god, guys. If I saved up all my Grand Blunder buffs, you would have oh, you would have hated me. Or you would have just hated the fact that I have so many in my uh, inventory and not... Uh, deleted it <laughs> or sold any but I am in max gold so I'm not getting everything that I want really no I don't, I don't need to sell anything but uh Admiral's broadsword this is probably my favorite non-cursed weapon in the game at the moment it's just it hits like a truck I mean let's be honest here um my only doll I'm not gonna get any more dolls because of uh this is a healing doll that I really love it doesn't split the targets. Oh, it's, it's beastly. Definitely go for this doll if you uh, want to heal. Um, here's my C charts. I don't have much. I just got the uh, 
come without boost and full sail boost if I want to pick up some speed. But, um, yeah, here's all my hollow, hollow, uh, um, holiday weapons from the last event. Arctic Blast Pistol, uh, Staff of Ice, Cross Edge Broadsword, Arctic Cutlass, and this big Christmas tree. <laughs> I just got this for the lulz. Um, Evergreen Dagger is pretty cool. Uh, the third dirt boost doesn't really get my attention at all. Uh, Frost Edge Blunderbuss. Again, the Grand Blunderbuss still hits like hits harder than this thing, but um, I don't know why the Bane Shot is rank three unlimited gun ammo. You only get to have it at one. I don't know why they did that, but um, when it says a limited gun shot, a limited. That's how a limited works, and was the definition of it. It's unlimited. <laughs> But uh, yeah, here's my clothes collection. I don't really need to go over it because most of you guys know what these clothing clothings are. Um, but I'm not so picky. These are really the only colors I'm going for. These are just all the random ones that I'm getting currently from loot drops. But yeah, that's clothing. Um, let's see, here's all my tattoos. Which not really important, really. <laughs> but, um, yeah, none. Materials, I'm working on it. Um, take some time because there's nobody that really does mat runs anymore. It's it's really rare to see a car go out there because of uh, how much how, how much time it takes to fill up. And you got to have good cannoneers. But if you're on my ship and you're being AFK, I will kick you. I don't like it when people have to work their butts off on the cannon and repair and you're just sitting there putting your head down or flipping a coin, being AFK. It's not nice and it's not fair to others. That's the way I play the game. But, I mean, that's all me. You can argue with me all you want, but in my, in my own opinion, I am right and this is my opinion, like I said. If you don't like it, just get off my ship or just don't join at all. But that's how I roll with my ship. Uh, if my ship does not have any uh, damage or anything like that, it's fine. You can sit there, I understand. But uh, if it does take damage, please move. Get to a repair spot if it's full. Just uh, take the guy's cannon and um, cannon away while those guys repair that got off the cannon. Um, but yeah, I'll go over that a little bit. Not really. It's not that important. I just wanted to get out of my um, get it out of my head, and just go ahead and say, hey, yeah, if you're on my ship, this is what goes. This is what's gonna happen. But um, yeah, this is the only ship I have at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to get this to max before I go ahead and work on another ship because of uh, like I said, the material runs are not that popular right now. In my opinion, uh, sailing is currently dead. There's nothing really to go for because everybody else has actually gotten their ships all built and um, all situated with their upgrades and they got all the materials in the world. I mean, go to Iron Thunder's uh, channel. Um, he did a video like four days ago or something like that. And um, he has 20,000 on all materials. It's it's a bit insane how much materials he has, but um, uh, it's 20,000 steel, I couldn't imagine how much, like, even, how much time he put, and effort he put into that stuff, but, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video, this main part of the video, but, uh, with potions and fishing, how did I level up in two days? Now, in those two days, I did, I did go crazy into the looting or not looting but uh the potions and the fishing i did potions first because potions takes forever but if you don't give up it's all right it's it's not that hard guys uh a lot of people just hate it in general because they don't have the patience they don't have the time it is it is a full time consuming process of leveling up potions i understand i've done it in probably all my characters Yes, I probably I have like six characters or had six characters. I just retarded and deleted it all. Uh, that's the truth. But um, 
Yeah, let me just get into this. Let me just show you the simple ways of leveling potions in my um, opinion. I hate this music, but we're gonna have to get, just roll with it. Um, so level one, everybody knows this. You only get Swashbuckler Stew and Marksman Drought one. And then for level two, you gotta go to these. Now, these are not really important at this level, but I would just do it just to get the Swift Foot 1. Once you get the Swift Foot 1, everything will be all right. Uh, this is the first one that you need to go for, all the way to at least. You can go to Deadeye. I did a Deadeye for um, a few times, but at the same time, uh, it wasn't bad. But uh, then I switched to... Um, I think it's Ghastly, Ghastly Visage. God, these names. But um, yeah, once you get to level five, go to Ghastly Visage. <laughs> I just don't know that name, but uh, yeah. Um, Ghastly Visage is basically like Swift Foot, but it does give more like XP because it is uh, two levels higher. So it gives a few more XP. Um, then uh, Ghastly, Visage, you go all the way down to level eight. Yes, it'll be a grind, but if you're working on the Raven's Cove quest, you're gonna have to get to late level eight anyways. But if you're going all out and going to level 20, like I did just to get over with, so your stats can look fresh as hell. Sorry about my language, but it looks fresh. But um, yeah, uh, as soon as you get to level eight, you get the Swift Foot too, and um, all the rest of them don't don't really worry about it because once you get to 13 it's not really that many levels to get to 13 when you get to eight but uh go to swift foot three and um that's basically it guys um for potions swift foot just go down this one go down these guys get to level three get to level four work on this for a little bit until you get to level five work on this one Go to Swift Foot 2 and go all the way level up to Swift Foot 3. Now Swift Foot 3 will level you up to 20. Yes, it will take time because like I said, it is time consuming. But if you have music in the background, I had Bob Marley in the background. I was jamming out when this was because this music right here is just it's AIDS. It's oh my God, it's so annoying, especially when you like glitch out with your potions. It's just it's so annoying because the only thing you hear is the music over and over and over repeats and repeats super fast. I don't know if you guys had that glitch before, but uh, yeah, that's really all for potions. Uh, it's, it's not a hard process. It's just time consuming. If you have time, go ahead and do it. I used to do it um, back in the day when uh, beta, when they just released beta. Um, I used to do it two levels every single day. Now, if that's not enough, just do like, just do like one level a day. It's not hard, guys. A lot of people just doesn't want, don't want to do it because they just don't have the time or they just don't want to do it in general. But uh, like I said, it's not a hard process. I did this in two days. If you play as much as I do, uh, like here, let me show you an example. Sorry, Boots, but you're the example. He leveled up fishing, but he, did, he stopped at potions. He would have, the potion is finishing at the exact same time like I did, and he would have got that thing maxed. I'm not gonna say like, man, Boots, you're just, you gave up so easily and stuff like that. No, no, Boots is cool, but he does have a point to where he does not like potions. If you don't like potions, that's fine. It's all good. You don't have to do it. It's not really required for you to keep moving on. But if you want to have your stats all fresh and stuff like that, hey, go for it. Having your stats all maxed out and fresh just to get prepared for when they at least increase the level cap and the weapons and stuff like that. Oh, it's, it's just a relief to have it all maxed and then you just got to work your way up to the next level if they increase it. But um, move on from that. I'm going to work on some fishing. But um, first things first, if you're starting off with fishing, go to Mr. Old Greg. Uh, get your fishing rod. As soon as you talk to him, he'll give you the upgraded fishing rod. You are now level one. 
Um, in my opinion, I will not fish here. I would fish on a fishing boat. But um, for level one wise here, let me see if I can find any on this dock. Probably not, but let's just see. There's certain fish that you can get at, at like level one. Uh, let's see if I can find it. This music is just, ugh, it doesn't get you rolling, man. Oh, here we go, here we go. These fish right here, these like barracuda or piranha looking fish, these fish is, ugh, these fish are what you need. 30 XP, 32 gold, that's really good. Now, there are other fish out there at the sea that's really good for level one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go out there and show you real quick. Watch fishing boat, a thousand gold. I don't care because I have 300 max, 300,000 max gold. Dab. <laughs> but uh, here, let me see. Go into this one, see if there's any fish. It's uh, the red ones, I believe. They give the 50 XP. Ooh, that's a big boy. Don't want that one yet. But yeah, these guys are out there too. The ones that I just shown you. Um, let's see. Do not get this yellow tang. These guys are so annoying. Oh my god, dude. Oh, let me get out here because there wasn't any red ones. But yeah, those yellow tangs. Ooh, man, they're crazy annoying. Yeah, this video is coming for a long session, but uh, it'll be alright, guys. It'll be alright. Just let it go. Uh, let's see, those fish are not really important. Oh, here we go, here we go. These red fish are what you really need to go for if you're a level one. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. 50 XP for a level gold. Now, if you're a level one, you need that 50 XP. That 50 XP is really nice. If you're, um, if you don't have a ship available for fishing, you can ask one of your buddies in guild chat. Yeah, guild chat. Um, or you can go to a popular server that's either Abasa or uh, Adaba. I think I pronounced that right. Yeah, Adaba. Uh, uh, search, go for the dinghies and search for fishing ships. Um, like, you see that right there, fishing ship. There's already one out. Maybe he has it on public, like, if he's nice enough. But um, if you see me fishing, which uh, I probably will go for some legendary fish sometimes, and you see my uh, ship open to public for fishing ship, go ahead and join. Go ahead. I ain't gonna bother you. You fish it for the good goods. But, um, yeah, for level one, um, those are the fish that you need to go for. There is another fish, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know about it. It's like a Arapima kind of looking fish. I don't know if you guys know what Arapima is or Arowana. Yeah, that's a good, uh, description of a fish. But, um, Let's see, let's see. When you get to level five, you will have to upgrade your fishing rod, go back to Greg, my main man, Greg. He's a good pal, you guys know where he is. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, go to him, he will give you the option of his list to upgrade the fishing rod. It does cost money, it does not cost a lot of money, but if you have the money, yes, go ahead and upgrade it. You get to level five, come back onto a fishing boat, and I will show you the next fish to go for. If they are here, usually they're really good to me, usually they're not. They are kind of a pain. Now I'll, I will use this just to get my advantage off. And they are not here, of course. No, stop Tuna, you're being really rude. <laughs> Gosh, do not get those tuna fish. If you're really, if you're going for the Raven's Cove quest, yes, yeah, go for the tuna fish, but this is just a pure, if you're going to level up to 20. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, okay, the fish are, okay, let me show you this. If you're level one through five, there he is right there. To the left, if you see my mouse, I don't know if you can't see my mouse, but let's see. I don't want these other fish. Oh no! Darn it, if you um if you don't want that fish, just go ahead and exit. Don't don't just just don't lose a lure. His lures are expensive. Oh my gosh. Especially the legendary ones. Woo! But uh let's see. Come on, fish. Be nice to me. Nope, you are not. 
Okay, I'll just show you some of the fish that's actually good in here for level five. Let's see, this guy right here wants to come in. Let's do this. Hey, come back here. I will show you the XP. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's a fighter. 100 XP, that's a big boost for uh, five, but it's not really the best boost for um, level five. So, let's try to, let me actually get on here and move a little bit. Um, for this trick with fishing, it doesn't matter where you go. I usually go to the Skeleton Islands because those fish usually spawn there. Uh, they spawn everywhere around Skeleton Islands because they are skeleton fish. But they just doesn't, they just don't want to come up for some reason for me right now. I don't know. They're asleep, they're eating, they're, uh, doing some uh, important stuff with their family. I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, let me see. Come on, fish, be nice to me. Please be one in here, come on. They're like skeleton look of fish. Oh my gosh, they're so mean to me today. Oh, you can't go for this lion fish right here. These guys are beautiful in real life if you have not caught one before. Um, they're very toxic with their spines in the back and on their sides but um these guys get 75 xp and 36 uh gold they're not bad for a level five oh, I got princess gold but that's not the fish that we want these guys are not popping up at all i'm sorry about this long video but i mean i'm, I'm stay out of here this is the struggle that i had oh here we go here we go here we go that guy right there i found you Okay, Barracuda, you can just, no, no. You're gonna go for it again, aren't you? Yes, you are. No, I don't want you, no. Hey, look at, look at that fish, dude. I'm just teasing him right now. Let's, come on, come on, come on, come on. So that fish on the left side right here, that's the fish that you want. I will show you why. Let me put stall lure. This guy gives like 150 XP, I believe. It is really good and they are pretty, they're decently rare. They're not like extremely rare. Just get this guy in here. Yeah, 150 XP is 68 gold. That's the fish that you need to go for for level five. And um, once you get to, um, I forgot it is to get to the uh, 14 or something to get to the big boys. But yeah, this fish is one of the fish that you need to go for. There is another one that's 200 for level five. I really need to find it, but they're kind of frustrating to find. Oh, that is not what I mean to click. Uh, let's see. Be nice to me, be nice. Yes, oh, thank you for being so nice to me. I will show you in just a second of what fish I'm talking about. Uh, oh, oh, he's finally here. Oh, he's probably hungry. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There he is, wow, he's in front of every fish in this whole entire freaking ocean. That is not nice of you. You see that skeleton fish? That's the fish that we really want to go for. He is the big boy. He is the 200 pocket of XP. That barracuda better not launch down here. I hate when they do that. All right, here we go, here we go. Yes, this is the fish that you need to go for. They do pick up, sometimes they pick up a really good fight, but um, 200 rep and 79 gold. That is, mwah, that is money right there, guys. Uh, that you need to go for the 150 xp the 100 xp and the 200 xp that's what you really need to go for um there's no other fish for level five sadly but uh you just got to get lucky if you cannot find that uh, those fish i recommend just going to skeleton islands cutthroat um where's the island over there congressuals uh tormenta outcast padres just all the skeleton islands that you can think of that has skeleton on it let me see. Um, so the next break of leveling um, for when you get to the big boys, all the way down where the sharks and uh, the, the ugly looking fish with the one with the big teeth, the gobblers. Or but um, OK, let me show you an example or some fish that I want you to go for. But um, before we get into this, I want to tell you that through one through five, those fish are not really necessary to get at all. The five through the big boys, the ones that I showed you, let me see if I got it in here. Fish, 
treasures. Um, where's the fish? Right here. Let me show you real quick. Um, these guys, the black chimera, 250 pounds that I caught. But uh, these guys, the ones that I sold you about 150 XP, it's really good. Go for those. They're good until like level 20. That's the max level. It is really good. Um, the dragonfish, that's 201. That is a really, really, really good fish for level 5. Please go for those to get to level 20. Um, the goblin shark, 860 pounds. That's a heavy big boy. But um, goblin shark, these guys are 200 XP. These are the big boys that I was talking about earlier. Um, I will be catching these in this video. The angler fish, these guys are ugly looking. They are pretty rare. Um, the lump fish, these guys... Oh, the angler fish gives out 225 XP. Uh, the lump fish gives 275, but they do pick up a fight. Uh, the mega mouth, this guy has 300 XP in his pocket. He is a big boy. He is the mega mouth. He is a monster and he is a bitch to find. You might get lucky. You might not. If you do not see him, don't worry about it. He, he's out there. Trust me. If you, um, if you want the other ones, go for the other ones. But uh, let me see if I can find some for you guys to give you guys a sample. Yep, there it is. There's the big boy right there. That's the oat barracuda. Ooh, you ain't gonna trick me. Ooh, boy. Uh, these fish are not really necessary. They're they're irrelevant. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, I really want to have that other fish. There's that 200 fish right there, but do not go for those right now. Well, I'm not going for it right now, but you can go for those. That, Like I said, it's 200 XP. It's really good. This shark right here, you do not need to go for those. Those guys only give gold. You do not... If you want gold, yes, go for it, but you don't need gold, I'm pretty sure. Right, these guys right here, these lump fish, this is the guy that you need. If he's nice enough, there we go. These guys do pick up a fight sometimes. Um, if you're lucky, you can't, ooh! Yeah, just, he's pretty quick with this, he'll break your lure pretty quick. But like I said, 275 XP at 115 gold, that's really good. These guys are just, ugh ugly they're basically a brain fish um yeah that's one example um let's see if i can find another one Ooh, there's lag in this server why is there lag obasa don't be mean obasa oh my gosh oh no are you kidding me and we back. We just had a crash there. That was just normal tilapia right there, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, you just gotta love it, man. I don't, but <laughs> it happens sometimes every now and then. It's not really important to really discuss. I mean, it's beta. But uh, let's finish it up here. Let's uh, see if we can find those last fish. Uh, like I said before, that 275 fish that I just caught for you guys before we crashed, that was a really good fish. Now let's see if we can find the 300 fish. This will probably be a 30 minute video. It'll be a long one, but it has a lot of important stuff. And look at that, we found the big boy already. How about you just, no, 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 get off of me. All right, let's see if we can get this big boy for you guys to finish off this video with the fishing and the potions. I'm sorry about it, that crash. I mean, uh, I can't really do anything about it. It's, you know, it's just, it's, it's just the way it is, guys. Uh, beta's beta. And there's our big boy right there, boo. Look at that big boy right there, boo. Yes, I got you. Ooh, I thought I wasn't going to get you. Look at that. 300 XP, 121 gold. That's a big boy right there. But yeah, um, fishing is really easy, guys. Uh, if you, those fish right there are really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this video, guys. Uh, I know this is a long one, but it's really important stuff that you need to uh, look at or look, look into, not just look at, yeah, just look at this. Oh. I'm just playing. But, um, one through five, uh, go to the Antheus and, um, 
Where you at? 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 The grouper. Uh, the hatching fish, which is basically like a piranha looking fish, piranha skeleton looking fish. And uh, five through the big boy level. I forgot what level it is, but uh, five through the big boy. Black chimera. Dragonfish. And then the big boys. Goblin shark. Angler. Lumpfish. And big mouth. If you find this video helpful, please drop a like. If you find this video like confusing at times or such, I don't know if there was any confusing parts at all to it, but um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. Don't forget that bell, ladies and gentlemen. But, um, thank you all for a little, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the Caribbean. Peace.